Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So most global equity markets are pushing on that little bit higher now and you have the Dow Jones above 18,000 for the first time in nine months and even the German DAX is comfortably above 10,000. So most global equity markets stretching on that little bit further. From a technical analysis perspective, we, have, we are seeing technical breakouts on the US markets and we have a whole host of US earnings due later on today including Goldman Sachs and a number of other big bellwether uh, companies. So it should be quite an exciting day on the markets itself. There is still some macro data to look forward to, and we'll have a look at that on the economic calendar when we run through some of those technicals. We have seen the yen um, kind of lose momentum as risk appetite has jumped back, and uh, the dollar actually has lost a little bit of, mem of momentum as well, which is kind of interesting because as kind of risk on comes on, you would have thought that the uh, that might increase the likelihood of an, in of an increase in interest rates, especially when the US stock market is very close to actually breaking all-time highs. It's not that far away from the levels that we reached last summer before things went a little bit sideways for a period of time. So that kind of gives you a kind of a back, background as the main core fundamentals. Uh, we will of course be having a look at crude oil, which has had a quite a strong recovery uh, after the big tumble it had on Monday morning following the Doha um, lack of agreement that many commentators have been hoping for. But now there's a big massive oil strike in Kuwait, uh, which has taken out some of that little sting uh, from the oversupply that uh, is impacting the market. So that gives you an idea of what to expect. Now let's go ahead and look at things from a technical perspective. So as ever, this is the US 30. This is the all-time highs we talked about in summer of 2015. And as you can see there, we do have a technical breakout. Uh, so far this morning, it managed to just uh, close a little bit above potential uh, resistance and now it's pushing on a little bit higher, now at 18,017. CMC clients uh, don't have a lot of confidence in the rally, it would seem, uh, with 86% of CMC markets clients currently short and they're probably thinking this is an overextension, but the fact is we're breaking through potential resistance, it's normally a technical breakout uh, and there could be a little bit of, of momentum there. Should that fail uh, and the price action dips back below 18,000, uh, you could be looking at potential support around about 17.8 or 87. Moving on to the UK 100, very strong turnaround, obviously gap lower on the open, um, and then it's gone and pushed up that little bit higher. Uh, looks to be, it's trying to push a little bit higher this morning, but you can see the tips of these candles here around about 63.73 could be providing short-term potential resistance. But this is a very strong technical signal from a candlestick perspective, but 73% of CMC market clients are currently short. So again, a similar kind of bearish view that this move might be slightly overextended. Any drift down might reach potential support at 63.23. Failing that, you could be looking at the tip of this candle or closer to the 21 period SMA. Moving on to Japan, 225 and a big turnaround. Again, a gap lower in the morning, only to make up that entire gap all the way back into positive territory. Another uh, bullish move this morning, uh, but a similar viewpoint that 16.896 could be adding, uh, could be acting as potential resistance. And you can see the last three days that has been in, in, in play. 74% of CMC Marcus clients are currently long, so they might be anticipating that that risk on momentum and the turnaround of the Japanese yen might push to Japan to five slightly higher. Moving on to uh, dollar yen, dollar yen had a nice bounce off potential support at 107 spot 67. We're in the middle of two ranges right now with 110 be the next potential resistance. Uh, there's not really much happening on dollar yen until we get closer either to the potential resistance or potential support. Um, then having a look at West Texas crude, uh, again, really strong bounce of potential support at 37 spot 59. We closed the entire gap all the way up. It's followed through a little bit this morning. It's not like been that dramatic. Um, I think uh, Brent is above $42 at the moment, uh, but WTI, we're getting a little bit closer to potential resistance at 40 spot 79, 68%. Of CMC Marcus clients are currently short, anticipating a move back to the downside. Uh, and then if we move on to gold, gold doesn't get that exciting until we get close to this neckline. We've talked about it a lot, potential head and shoulders formation. As time goes on, it becomes less and less like a head and shoulders formation, mind you, but uh, we are bouncing in between this uh, moving average area just now, and the other technicals are relatively neutral. So gold, not that exciting at the moment. Now finishing up with the euro dollar, so euro dollar just creeping up that little bit higher and that's more dollar strength, uh, dollar weakness, sorry, than it is inherent euro uh, strength as well. And uh, we are just above that 21 period SMA. 
Uh, Euro dollar doesn't get exciting until we get to one spot 1489, uh, which could be a little while for that to happen. And then finishing up with GBP USD, I think there's been a kind of a decent turnaround in the sterling. Great day yesterday, fantastic follow through today already, getting close to the tip of this candle here, which is one spot 4346 is potential resistance. We could still be in a descending triangle formation. We're in the middle of that triangle right now. Uh, so we need to wait to see if we break above this level or not to then retarget one spot 4634, or if we simply retreat right back down to this potential support at one spot 4880. Finishing up as ever with the market calendar. And I'm just gonna very quickly uh, go into my filters here. I only really wanna see the most important updates. Uh, bum, bum, bum. I think we've got everything we need there right there. Okay, done. Right, so we've got the ZEW business report. That's a big one for Germany. That's gonna impact Euro dollar and the Germany 30. You've got housing starts later on today as well. Trade balance data, employment data, existing home sales, and then those petroleum status updates uh, as ever, very important. And then Thursday, we've got UK retail sales, interest rate announcements, employment claims, and finishing up Thursday there with CCI. Well, guys, that's it for me at the moment. Very good luck with your trading and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next. Thank you very much and goodbye.